so now let's verify if it appears in my google drive this is the document which i have uploaded hello and welcome back to app in Seco. i hope you guys are doing good so in part one we learned how to set up the integration with google drive and if you haven't watched part one yet i highly recommend you to check that out first and today in part two we will dive into designing a user-friendly interface for uploading documents so without any further delay let's get started we are picking up right where we left off we have already set up the integration but just to make it dynamic we have to define you know some rule inputs that will be used to pass data into this integration so i'm gonna create one and let's call it doc id which is going to be number integer okay and here we have this document picker which is typically used to select a document so here we just have to set this to point to the rule input which we have just defined okay ri doc id click ok and save your changes so with the integration in place now it's time to enhance it by adding functionality to upload documents so let's navigate to appian designer and click on this new and then select the type of object you want to create we will be designing the interface where user will upload their documents right so let's call it as upload doc okay provide the description and then click create so we'll start by adding a file upload component in the search panel you just have to type in file and there we go and then you just have to drag it and drop it onto your interface okay i'm gonna switch to expression mode now to tailor this i'm gonna set the label to select document okay and don't forget to set the save into and value properties we will save the file to a local variable okay so for that let's declare a local variable a bang local variables and let's name it local doc id okay i'm gonna save my uploaded file to this variable local doc id and we have this value parameter as well local doc id cool and we have one more parameter that is target which determines the location of your uploaded files you need a folder where you are going to save all of your uploaded files so i already have a folder and a constant that points to that folder created for this okay i'm gonna just call it over here cons is folder doc okay make sure that your constant is of type folder cool next let's add a button that user will click to initiate the upload process okay i'm gonna switch to design mode and will drag a button component onto a interface okay just type in button in the search panel you have to drag it and drop it underneath this now we'll switch back to expression mode to configure this and let's set the label to upload okay we will be using a process model that will be triggered on click of this button so let's save our changes for now and navigate back to app in designer and click on this new and gonna select process model from the designer menu options okay give your process model a meaningful name like uh, as upload doc to google drive provide the description to have a better understanding of this object and then click create and then you have to set up the process model security which is already in place i'm gonna click on save this is a process model canvas and we need to define some process variables that will store the data needed for the upload okay we will need at least one variable to store the file selected by the user okay go to the variables you have to just click on this properties and then head on to this variables tab 
click on add variable let's call it doc id and make sure to set the type of this variable to number integer okay and this is going to be parameterized which will allow the value for the variable to be provided when starting a process we will be passing the doc id from interface to this process model so in that case it has to be parameterized click ok now we have to drag the call integration smart service onto a process model canvas okay this will allow you to call an integration object within your process okay in the search panel you just have to type in call integration and drag it and drop it over here okay make sure the nodes are connected properly now we need to configure this to call the integration object double click on the call integration smart service to open its configuration dialog okay head on to the setup tab and here you need to select the integration that you created from the list of available integrations okay as upload file and to do the input mapping you have to head on to this data tab and map the data from the process model to the input parameter of the integration okay this is the input parameter of the integration and this is the process variable which will be holding the file right so we have done the mapping now click ok and activity chain the nodes enable activity chaining right click on the chain and then click enable activity chaining now we are good to save our changes i'll save and publish my process model now that we have a process model created that we want to trigger so let's go back to interface from which we want to start this process okay in save into parameter of my button i will use a smart service that will trigger that process that is a bank start process smart service on click of this button the selected file will be sent to google drive via this integration okay via this process cool so to initiate the process model first we have to make sure that we have a constant defined for a process model okay so let's go back to appian designer and create one for a process model constant and name it pm upload doc okay set its type to process model and assign the process model that you want to trigger okay yes upload doc to google drive and then just click create i'll copy it okay here in start process you need to map the first parameter that is process model to the constant that points to the process model that we want to trigger okay using cons domain cons I have already copied it i'm gonna paste it that's a constant which points to my process model okay and then comes process parameters this will allow us to pass dynamic data into the process being started so this basically enables the transfer of data from an interface to a process model here we need to pass the doc id to a process model right doc id and this is the process variable which is parameterized and we need to map this to this local variable which will be holding the file okay local doc id cool and on success i'll just make this local doc id null okay on success using a bank save target is gonna be local doc id and value is gonna be null okay if it is a success it will update this local doc id with this value okay it will basically nullify this local variable now to save uploaded file to a target folder we have to use one more function in the save into parameter that is a bank submit uploaded files which will save any uploaded file to the target folder 
okay so here we have these three parameter on success honor and documents so I just have to map this documents to this variable which will be holding the file okay local doc ID this is a very basic UI but you can make it attractive by you know including some error messages or success notifications to inform users about the upload status so finally let's test a interface I am gonna select a document so the document has been selected now we'll click this upload button to send this document to my Google Drive okay upload I think it's a success because this local variable has been updated to null right so now let's verify if it appears in my Google Drive I'm gonna refresh this and there we go this is the document which I have uploaded I'll open it for you so that's pretty much for the day if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe for more such app and tutorials and if you have any questions or need further clarifications do drop a comment below i'll see you guys in my next video cheers bye bye